guys so today is friday and it is the bank holiday easter weekend so i thought i would vlog with you just because it's quite an exciting weekend quite a few bits are happening so i picked up the camera um it is actually nearly midday i only got up an hour ago um i really needed to catch up on my sleep from this week so that's what i did but i have a lot to do today tomorrow Saturday is my first craft fair to exhibit my knitting from my shop, The British Knitter. Links are down below. So I need to finish a project, get everything sort of packed and sorted. A couple weeks ago, I did like a mock setup of how I'm going to display everything so I know what I'm going to do. Um, so I just need to make sure that I've got everything packed. Um, and then um, afterwards, tomorrow we're going over to my mum's. For Easter this Sunday and we're seeing all the family. Um, I am working Easter Monday so I won't be sharing that. Um, I've got a day to catch up um, on work um, so I won't vlog that obviously um, but I thought I would get on here and vlog for the couple of days that I am off. Uh, so I'm gonna have breakfast and then start finishing a knitting project. That is the first thing I need to do today. I also need to film two other videos today because um, I haven't actually sat down and filmed in a while so I need to do that um, and obviously I'm not gonna have time the rest of the weekend so let's have breakfast and let's get started. So I'm just about to do my breakfast and I thought I'd just update you because um, I think in one of my current videos I shared what's a very loud, it's a very loud uh, kettle. I showed you how I have those porridge pots quite a bit for, um, let's take you away actually. I have those porridge pots quite a bit for my breakfast. Well, we have found that the Tesco pots are a lot cheaper, well, I mean they're like 50p cheaper and they taste practically the same, so that is what I'm going to have for my breakfast today, um, just quick and easy and I know we should just do the porridge like the little paper bags that you get and we do have those these are just easy to get the right sort of amount of so yes that's what i'm gonna have for my bricky so this is the last sort of big project i'm working on to get selling ready for the shop tomorrow it is a gorgeous sort of burgundy claret wool with all this sparkling, it's just so pretty and it's gonna become sort of um, a doubled up circle scarf or a snood. Um, so that is what I'm working on. I'm probably three quarters of the way through with that. So I hope to finish that in the next sort of hour or two. And then obviously I am watching Kipling on QVC because that has been my favorite thing to watch lately. Um, I'm obsessed. Yeah, I am actually sort of looking for some sort of bag that I can take with us when we go to Mexico in a couple of months. Um, not as like a, a carry-on bag, but more so a bag that I can take down to the pool with us, um, to the beach, that sort of thing. Because um, last time I used my Radley bag, the pocket tote that um, I now use for work and it's a bit grubby and you know it's got all my work stuff in so I'm sort of looking for another sort of large tote a bit like that so that's what I'm in the hunt for um yeah so I'm gonna watch this and it and I'll catch up with you in a bit so I've just finished my scarf and I've labelled it I'm here with Darren how excited are you for tomorrow Darren Yes. He's so excited to help me. He's excited. <laughs> Alright. We are just watching the Anthony Joshua weigh in for the fight tomorrow. Also very exciting. So I'll watch that and then I need to um, price up my scarf and get everything sort of packed up. So yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. 
Okay, so the way that I do them is I have these other tags that I use. I literally just got them off Amazon and they came with some yarn with them. And I've got this stamp. I can't remember off the top of my head who I purchased it from, but I did it on Etsy. Um, and you literally just send them the photo or your logo and they can put it on a stamp. I did have to alter the logo a little bit just um, for it to be able to work on the stamp. Um, so that's what it looks like and what I do is um, for my price tags I just colour in the sort of wool yarn bit in the middle um, so I will show you how I do that and then just stamp it on and then use a pen to write it on the back it's all very I like it to look all very handmade hand finished um, and like just that a lot of like time and attention's gone into everything so yeah and I also use that stamp I use the whole of the stamp for my bags so this is um the bags that I'll be giving out tomorrow um I've got stickers to attach to things and yeah quite excited so let's get on to that so I like to put a piece of tissue paper down just so I don't ink up my I mean I've literally just got um like marble effect contact paper on this um but I want to keep it sort of nice for as long as I can so I've got my tag and um I've got a little ink pad and um, which again you can buy with the stamp and what I do I didn't have a little brush on hand so I have been using this MAC eyeliner brush this is if you're wondering the 266 um, from that which is literally just a little angled eyeliner brush but I find it works really well for painting on the ink so I am going to do that now and I literally just paint it on and that's all I do I did um, at first put tape over the like writing um, but that didn't work um, and this is even though it's more time consuming it is a much more effective way of being able to print exactly the bits that you want and I have already done most of these tags anyway so it's just this one I need to do today so that's that and then I've got my stamp and if I bring you down a little bit I literally let's see I just go like that hold it for a few seconds and then I'm gonna need both hands for this I feel oh don't know if you're gonna stay okay oh there we go it just fell off and then I have my little stamp like that and then I just blot it off onto an extra piece of paper just so because I don't really have a case or anything for this um just so some of the ink washes off and just wipe off my little brush as well and that is that so super simple process super quick um i'm going to write my little price on it and then attach it to the scarf with the wool and i have i only put specific price tags on my scarves because they vary in um, prices um, but other things like my macrames and my blankets they all have these little things to show you what the prices are um, but I do just I do them like that and then just leave them blank on the back and attach them just so it's again a bit more branding um, and I just think it looks really cute so yeah I'm gonna attach that to the scarf and there is my tag on it so that is that. Um, one thing I just wanted to add, I do have these stickers um, by ChantillyDesigns.com. Not sponsored by them, it's just letting you know who I got them with. Um, again, I had to um, make sort of a little circle outline for them in Photoshop. Um, I use these stickers mainly on my envelopes um, for posting, but obviously I don't have those for this craft there, so I think I might cut up some of the stickers so I can sort of give them away um, put them in the bags with like the business card because um, I don't need them on the paper bags and that's sort of the only thing I could really stick them to um, so I think I might do that and yeah so I think now I'm gonna 
um, start to pack up this stuff, show you how I'm going to pack things up and yeah and then I need to get on and film those videos. So, so I actually just remembered what I was going to use the stickers for. I have tissue paper to wrap up the blankets and the scarves and the macrame so that's what the stickers will be used for. Duh! So um, what I'm starting out by using is this small little um, carry-on case to put all of like sort of the bits and pieces in and then sort of a softer and um, one of those catheter and sort of fold out handles to put in or hopefully as much of the knitting as I can but I may need two bags for that um, yeah and that way also when um, I'm doing it the bags will fold down really easily they'll go in that suitcase we have got another little pop-up table that I'm gonna bring so I can use that as sort of my um, preparing a little station of putting out the bags the tissue paper that sort of thing so yeah I'm just listening to some like cleaning like motivating stuff and um, just trying to pack everything up so I've pretty much packed up what I need to take with me to the fair um, I have got obviously my sort of props that will just go straight into the car um, I have this little travel on case so in here I'll just try and show you so I've put my macrames on top um, because I think that'll be the safest place for them in there I've got my paper bags my stickers the tissue paper my tablecloth fits right in down there I've got business cards um, all the little stand-up price props um, what else? I've got my bunting up there, the little gift packages. So pretty much everything I need to sort of package up is in there. And then I have this um, Kathy Kidson fold up bag and in it I have all the scarves and then these come, you get a little pouch with them. Bless you, Darren. Um, and so in this one I've put the bracelets and the bookmarks just so they're kept nice and safe in there. This one has all the blankets. Um, it doesn't look like the best way of packaging them up, but because they're soft items, they don't crease, this is actually really, really a good way to do it. And um, won't take up a lot of room once everything's out. I can just fold them away. Um, and then, obviously this is the little stand I'm taking. I have this little bag which I'm going to put sort of little items in. So I've got pens for the little boards, um, a pair of scissors, my little card terminal, um, and anything else that I want to put in there, little extra bits. Um, and then also I just wanted to mention I'll be taking my lug carousel bag. I've done a review on this. I'll link that down below if I can remember. Um, I like to wear this as a bum bag and this is what obviously I'll be keeping like our cash flow in and anything else that I just want close on my body, I can wear that. And yeah, I think that is my it. Oh, and then I need to take this as well. Um, so I think that is everything mostly packaged up. I'm gonna put it out on the landing just so I remember to take it when it's all in one place. And then I think I can film some videos. I am going to, this afternoon, try and knit a few more, um, maybe bookmarks and bracelets, just so I've got a few other little things. Um, but all the big items are sort of done now, because I don't really have time to make up any more today. So, that's what I'm going to do. And, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So, sneaky peek, I am about to film my current favourites. Um, this video will already be up by the time this goes up probably so yeah I'm gonna film those and wear the video and come back and see you after. I also remembered I need to do a inventory list of what I'm taking tomorrow like product wise just so I know in my head what I've got what I've sold that sort of thing so I just ran upstairs again. I'm not a very healthy human being am I? Okay let's get ready. So I've just finished recording those videos. Darren helped me a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm hungry. It's three o'clock. So I'm going to have a little bit of a snack. Um, and then I've got a lot of editing to do. Um, so I've got those two videos. I've also got another sort of weekend vlog from a couple weeks back that I need to edit. Um, and yeah, do that inventory. And also, there's something else. 
do more knitting obviously so yeah I probably will stay up here for a little bit longer to do all that because Darren's watching or he's playing his NFL game downstairs so I'll leave him to that because he can get quite loud and yeah that's that I'm gonna go get a snack now did you enjoy doing the vlog with me Darren wonderful love you love you too <laughs> So I've got my snacks, I'm going to have some pineapple, yoghurt, and then might have some of these, which my aunt got us, and I'm also watching this family, I love their new vlogs, I recently just shared them in my current favourites, and yes, I'm going to eat this because I am starving, I ain't mervin. I'm not talking to myself, I'm vlogging. I'm talking to the people, Darren. I need you to talk to yourself, Darren. Yeah. So I'm going to stay up here. I've got all my provisions, some tricky little snacks. And I'm going to work on editing those videos, do some knitting, watch some vlogs, and just chill while Darren plays his game downstairs. It is nearly four o'clock. I need to just go and put the washing in the tumble dryer. And yeah. But I feel I've been very productive in the few hours that I've been up today. So yeah, let's go. So it's been a couple of hours, I think, since I've pulled out the camera. It's about 20 past six now, and I've been here for that entire time. My feet are freezing because it's really cold in this room. Um, but I have finished doing the inventory. So I literally just created it as a word document and put my logo on it and then I've been doing some knitting so I'm working on a couple of bracelets out of um, that really pretty wool uh, so I've got that one done and then there's one more on the go um, that is what I'm wearing and yeah I think I'm gonna head downstairs now uh, transport everything with me and then um, I can be with Darren for the evening and we can have dinner and yeah just try and get in as much knitting as i can then i can complete my inventory list and then print it off and take it with me tomorrow um i found out you can start setting up from nine o'clock tomorrow so we'll probably get there for nine um just so i have or well, just after nine it opens to the public at about half ten so then i've got like an hour and a half to sort of get ready make sure everything's set up make sure my card machine will be set up right um and yeah, and then maybe have like a little meet around, meet some people before the public come in. And yeah, but it's really exciting. I need to work out A, what I'm going to wear tomorrow, because uh, that is very important. And B, um, make up like a little lunch box of things to take, because it doesn't finish until half three. Um, I know, because Darren's going to be with me, he can sort of pop out, get some food if we want. But we have got um, like sandwiches and wraps, so I'm going to take a lunch box full of stuff that we can snack on and drinks um mainly so Darren doesn't complain throughout the day um but yeah I really appreciate him coming with me to help like carry things in and just like he's such a warm bubbly character like not only is he gonna give me support but I know that he'll interact with people as well really well um and I know he won't be the only husband there which would be good so he doesn't feel completely out of the blue um but yeah he he joined the like event group and saw that there was going to be food um, that people are selling, um, in particular cinnamon buns, so he's very excited for that. He's taking his, his little bit of Easter money that he got from my aunt and is going <laughs> to spend it on that tomorrow, which reminds me I need to get my cash flow out of my bag so I can take it out with me as well. So yeah, I'm going to take all this downstairs and catch up with you in a bit. Bye guys! <laughs> So it's a couple of hours later now and I have completed a couple more bracelets. I've got one that I've nearly finished and then that's all I've got ready for the fair tomorrow. Um, it's nine o'clock so I'm going to go and wash my hair and style it for tomorrow. I need to pick out what I'm wearing so I'll show you that. And yeah, just have a chilled evening. I think I'll probably have a late evening just because I stayed in bed for quite a while. Um, this is the book that I am currently reading. It's called A Simple Favour 
by Darcy Bell and it's basically about a mum that drops her kid off with her best friend um, and basically she never comes back to collect him and there's this whole mystery surrounding where she's gone. So yeah, I'm enjoying that quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do my hair and but first I think I will pick out what I am wearing. I think I'm gonna wear this blouse with my high-waisted liquid leggings, or like le leather leggings. So this stripy shirt, I think I'll wear that because it's comfortable and then I can wear my converses with it. Just to be quite comfortable, quite casual, but also sort of smartish looking. And I also need to pack some sort of a bag or get the stuff together ready to pack a bag for staying at my mum's for tomorrow night. So yeah, that was actually easier than I thought because I already sort of had that outfit in mind. So yeah, I'm gonna do my hair and I'll touch you in a bit. And guys, it's Saturday. It is the day of the craft fair. We are about ready to go. Dan's coming. Looks very smart, Darren. Got all my stuff ready. I forgot to go to the post office first, but we're ready to go. And that's all the stuff we're taking to my mum's. A little doggy toy. Okay, let's go. Darren. Um, but I've had a nap and now we're going over to my parents for Easter and to see the dogs. Are you excited? You see? Yeah. Your face. Are you zooming in on my face? You're so excited, don't you? Stop. Mm. I'm yeah. very tired. It's been abruptly open. Zoomed in right at the Thank mix, you. Uh, All right, that's enough. That's the last time you'll be my cameraman. Say bye, guys. Bye. Where are my donkeys? Oh. Oh. What? Oh, don't. Okay. Don't worry. Hello, my boy. Hello. 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 Oh, they want my love and attention. Where are my boys? Come here. Come here. Hello. 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 Hello, Foss. Hello, Foss. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Oh, look at Toby. Toby. They're so excited. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Roll over. Roll over. The oh, that's a bit close. Oh. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. He wants your pillow. Yeah. Hello, Foswold. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what a tart. Oh. Yeah, let's have dinner. Let's have dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Foss. Yeah, Foss. Ready? Mama went to all these crafty oh, yeah. Yeah. Christmas are really yeah. busy. Right? So, Mum's put on a, a nice spread. Is Mother? I like your flannel. It's all right. Toby, where have we gone? Where's he gone? Where has he gone? Oh, the dogs have disappeared. Where's the other chair? Did he have a room I've dressed the table for tomorrow? Pause! Or in the dining room tomorrow. 
the toy. Toby. What toy is it anyway? It's a little rabbit. What's this? Oh, it's a Christmas one. Oh, no, an Easter one. Yeah, what? Got Christmas on the brain. Darren. <laughs> right, hold on, Boswell. Hold on. Bear with Boswell. <laughs> Hold on, let me, she's not got scissors for me. Anyway, I just want to make sure, hold that. Put your hand up. Love it in there. Just because it went there. Mm. Why is the okay. stone still there? Take, take that. Why didn't you pick them up there? Like that. Put them two stones on my phone. Here you go. Jeez. All right. We got it too? We got it all? Is this come here, Buzz? Oh, what's wrong with you? Are you scared? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I'm just waiting. Oh, yeah. Yes. Do you like it? Let Toby have a go. Let Toby have a go. Toby, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, come here. Come here you scaredy cat. Oh, that's a nice. What's the matter? What's the matter? Look, he's got it, he's got it. Wait, he's got a squeak on it. What have you got, Foz? You get it, Ratty. Come on. Come on. Come on, share with Toby. Come on. Toby, Toby. Toby, Toby. Come have a go. Come on. Come on. What's that? Go get the ears. Come on. Oh, I'm scared. Oh. You like that, don't you? Who you got? Hey, babe. I did say that to you. Is there now? Yeah. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. More brave. Go on then. Go on then. Get it. Get it. Yeah. 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 Oh, I don't like the crinkling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shake it. Shake it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. What have we got? Nice tulips, Mother's got. Darren's doing his. Uh, Son-in-law duties. What this video in? Oh, I thought I'd vlog the weekend, seeing stuff's oh, actually happening this oh, weekend. Oh, you haven't been able to vlog so much lately, have you? Yes, for us. Oh, he looks very handsome. And we've got some buddies. What's up, Toby? Come on, girls. Let's go in the lounge. In the Don't encourage him. Come to your next adventure. Come. 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 Sure be on a lot tonight, I'll mop it. He's up to bloody He is. Leave the bin alone. I love the twinkle chocolate bar song. Yeah. No, I scraped my finger on the couch. Hello. Hello. What's the matter? He's in destructive mode now because he can't get it. He's 
A subtle tantrum. Has it gone? What are you doing? Way. You want to go to somebody's find. You want to look online and see what What's up? Maybe, maybe there's What's up? one in West. Watch it. Do I watch it, Sophie? Yeah. You suck luck, don't lie. Oh, okay, you're a secret. You do watch the Bake Off. No, I don't. He does. Oh, you don't watch the Bake Off. Oh, I don't. Do I sit there and intentionally watch it? Yeah. Intently. I swear my life. Oh, that's the one with the Bake Off. Say so Sunday. I want a ticket abroad. Huh? I want a ticket abroad. <laughs> oh, sad. <laughs> Let's see what he says. No, no, they're, really they're really like cheering and look. Oh. It must be hard. Oh. I can see it in his face. It's not the same. <laughs> he's, he's emotional. Is she going? Toby! Look at that little face! His little tongue! Toby, your little tongue sticking out! Put your little tongue back in. Put your little tongue back in. Okay, try. <laughs> Watching the boxing. Oh, no, no, no. Come on over. Oh, now he wants oh, to come see. Come on over, Darren. Taking this must see attraction. The Can you try with that, Darren? Yeah, it's just a boy. <laughs> we'll just watch it on here, thanks. We have finished watching the fight, it went the full 12 rounds and Anthony Joshua won. We ended up watching it on Darren's phone because we couldn't get it any other way. And now we're going to bed. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys! Good morning guys, it is Sunday, it is Easter, it is also April Fools. Um, I'm not going to be vlogging too much today just because I've got family around but my hair is looking on point. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just take a few clips here and there uh, but not a lot so I'll probably catch up with you later. Bye guys!